be a part of that so that they feel that, hey, you know what, this, this is something that, that makes sense mm -hmm. and such. If you make something that's so out, so really out there and such, people aren't going to feel connected to the storyline. So you have to have that, that accuracy with it. And uh, at the same time, too, you have to be able to address the, the most serious things that are happening in this world as well, too. So. So Michael, how many of us fabulous? How many of the fabulous gay people in your world? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see myself as an elf. <laughs> I get that. A lot of people walk up to me because of the writer that they they want to have their characters in it and that sort of thing. Um, actually, here's one of our characters right here. Oh and, uh, wow! That's Andrew exciting. Christian, like, I, actually, what we've been. I, I, just want I mean, there's gay, a lot of. I, I just want some fabulousness in everyone's life. <laughs> there's there's been I, um, we we do uh, we do script reading and mm -hmm. such. And, and we also do gameplay too. So we've been, uh, we've been playing through the various characters and that sort of thing, and, and that's part of the script writing process. So uh, if you go to the Elflandia site in two weeks, we'll be doing a, a casting call story reading uh, over at my place. And uh, you're all welcome to come. It's just a fun experience where we read. You're not from New York, too, are you? No, no not at all. You're from New York. Yeah, she can go okay. to New York. I don't want to be there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's honey, well New made. York is fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Manhattan. Um, I'm, I'm actually I'm in, I'm in California, but um, at any rate, yeah, come on over to us, and, and oh, we God, can read the stories. Me. We can read the stories. And uh, it's an incredible amount of fun. And uh, when we do play the game, that's a lot of times where I create the, the material for mm -hmm. for the Elflandia story. Um, a lot of the uh, a lot of writers already have predisposed like who's going to win the battles and stuff. Actually, we we role play them out. So yeah, your top line character could get destroyed. So I have a real I have a question. What is, what is, what is yeah, your biggest is inspiration? Yeah, what was your biggest inspiration for creating the Elflandia? Um, like originally, I think that there's a there's 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 so much that that needs to get out there that people are afraid to talk about. Yeah, and, and that's why I created Elflandia so that we can actually discuss some of the most important things that are in people's lives and and come up with solutions for them too. If you just read the first 29 pages of script, I, I did talk about yeah with those 30 pages. Yeah, <laughs> it is because if you read the 30 pages, you're going to get Elflandia. You'll understand what it's all about. You know, one of the things that I talked about is that you know just like we're talking about here today is that Hollywood has this warped vision of what we want to see, what we're programmed for, right. and which, in which we, they think they want. Fall into my feed us, basically, you know? Yeah. I mean, how many damn times, that we were talking about this yesterday, have we seen an origin story? Yeah. Okay? How many yeah. times? Okay? How many damn times do we need to see this? It's yeah. time for it's time for new characters. It's time for new stories. It's time for new things. And I don't want to be brain brainwashed anymore. That's kind of why I wrote Elflandia because of the fact if you look at, you know, so many times I use this as an example for Elflandia. It's true love is a look in, in in movies and in stories. But if you look at Elflandia, I, I actually write out in about 3 to 4 pages in the relationships part towards the end of those the first intro story. Trust, respect, communication, devotion, those are things that make real relationships. I don't care if it's heterosexual or homosexual, it doesn't really matter. We're getting along with people, and these are a basis to, to making real relationships with real people. These are the aspects that I write Elflandia about, is because we're writing about real relationships, real things that have happened in my personal life or others, right? Our historical aspects. These are the things that go into Elflandia. Yeah. Fantastic. Jane? Okay. I know this sounds funny. I'd like to actually see a Latino character. Whether it's male or female, <laughs> 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 that isn't a housekeeper, right? Or doesn't do your oh, yard? No, no, no. Because I'm okay. well, I mean, I, I know, right. I don't, I know, I don't look it, <laughs> yeah. but like I'm half Hispanic and half white, and we get that all the time, especially like even in my family. It's like, no, I won't do your yard or clean your house, <laughs> <laughs> and. It would be nice, it'd, it'd be even nicer to see like a female Latino character who actually does something. Like we went and saw the Resident Evil movie, and you know a lot of people are like eh about actors and actresses, but it was like, oh look, Michelle Rodriguez is actually wearing body armor, she has a gun, and I wish she would have died in the end, but it was oh, like, she died. finally! Spoilers! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> she dies, and, like, she dies spoilers. in everything, if she's, yeah. she's dead. Yeah, <laughs> but it was like refreshing to see somebody. <laughs> Well, that's, you know, I think with the Flandia, one of the things that, uh, you know, working with Mike, you know, he started building the roles and the, the characters when he was playing Dungeons and Dragons. So really, Ooh. playing those games, you really could create anything or anybody. Yeah, yeah that's and, true. You know, yeah. And that's one of the things of coming about, what do I want to see? Who do right. I want to be? I'm tired of it being the same white dudes on my TV. Yeah. 
And I mean, yeah. Yeah. and I mean, this wraps back into it is we use video games, we use like sci-fi media type stuff or whatever mm -hmm. as a way to find those role models, basically to build our lives off of. Because yeah. me personally, as you know, this mixed race guy or whatever, I don't see all these mixed race people, you know, in our steady culture going, oh, well, I'm taking charge in here and blah, 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 blah. Barack Obama was the first one I can go, oh my God, that's my president. My president's mulatto like me. You know, I can relate. Or whatever, Granchy, you're Hawaiian or whatever the hell you are. You know, but eh, Kenya. it's close. Kenya. 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 Whoa, his mother's like Hawaiian or something. Hey, 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 hey. hey. But they lived in Hawaii. I don't really I think, you know, she's oh, she's a white woman from Kansas. <laughs> yeah, she's from Kansas. Was, was, that was six years ago. I keep uh, it. What's amazing <laughs> with fantasy, too, is is you can bring people in who may be adverse to it initially, because you're not saying this is a gay novel or whatever at the end, right? They're bringing in for the story, and then they get this. If they Because it's fantasy, they're not seeing initially the real world part of it. Because mm -hmm. right. if he said, this is a real world gay relationship, they might be like, ew, or whatever. Well, I'm not gonna read that. But when they see oh, fantasy, yeah, yeah. For, and I have a personal experience, had I known when I first read the Chronicles of Narnia, it's basically telling me the Bible, I yeah. probably wouldn't have read it, right? Dude, but because I didn't know that, I really enjoyed the story, and it brought me into that. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what you can do with, with said for religion, with Chronicles of Narnia, or being gay, or race, all this stuff. Is it brings people in and gets them to think about it without them even knowing that they're thinking about it. And I think the key is the solutions. You know, we all know what the problems are. Yeah. So people yeah. don't want to hear the problem that we got. You know, um, anytime you talk about anything real, they, people just run away. I have it all the yeah. time. They just dash. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, I don't want to hear like, it because guess what? I'm in my fun, fluffy world. It doesn't affect me because yeah. I live in this Everything country. Everything is rainbows and chickens and yeah. turkeys. Until just like it, that. Yeah, until it becomes to the point that there's the point of no return. I think having, these, having an ability to talk about that and show, look, there's more than one solution. This is how you treat people. We're, the, you, like, we're one society. We're the society of human. People mm -hmm. forget yeah. that. We're all the same. You we're all the same. We're you know, we're all in it together. Would go a, long yeah. way. a little empathy would go a long way. I, I yeah. agree. And, and things like this, I think, help people maybe not learn it, but help people bring it out in themselves more than if it would have been, you're a bad person because you didn't believe this. But, you know, here's yeah. like, hey, look at this, look at this, you know, allegory, look at this story. And then you're like, oh, that's just a person like you. And it's much better to, than, you know, if you're in somebody's face yelling at them. Nobody wants to listen if you're yelling at somebody. And see, and this goes back to, like, I'm going to go ahead and close this out for us tonight. You know, all these hero stories, all these hero comic books or whatever, you realize, you know, all these people are different. All these people have something special about them or whatever. And it's not until they all come together as this whole team, this the X-Men, you know, sure. this united force or whatever, you know, that they stop and save the world. You know, nothing's okay until we're all together, and I just basically want to close that, close this out tonight with that. You know, I want to thank you all for coming. Yeah, thank Again, you so much. Guys. We'll be downstairs. We're doing a 24-hour video gaming segment or whatever. It's actually 24 hours this time. Woo! Oh we got to close down at 2 o'clock last night. We, we are open until so, 4 p.m. tomorrow, so, I mean, yeah, it's so that if you guys have questions, comments, concerns, or whatever, <laughs> We'll be downstairs yep. and like and if Houston, you want to know more about us and you know <laughs> we've got uh, some social media. We're yeah. Houston Gamers yeah. We're Houston Gamers on Facebook and on Twitter. Thank, Thank you guys. Yeah, we have meetups.